Okie dokie. It's gonna seem like nothing at all, but it's been actually like a week since I recorded this last section. Uh, and I have, uh, there are two things now. I'm using a new microphone, so if I, if this sounds a bit weird, then don't mind it. I haven't really configured anything with it. And also, this is the best perfect moment to test it out, because right now I have my fan in the background, who's, which is constantly doing noises. Which, if I didn't have that, I would die. So, now you get to choose, huh? You want a new episode, or do you want me dead? Well, probably the latter, by probably most people would respond by now, but we don't have time for that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna upgrade this tier 1 crafter in a tier 2 crafter. Cool. It takes resources that we already went over, and I'm also gonna need one of these. Yeah. Okay. Um... So, uh, in my la not the last video, in the last, like, minutes that you saw, we I set up this wonderful thing. And now we're going to have to put the crafter down. And uh, I could infuse the crafter. Screw it, I'm gonna infuse it. I mean, we have the materials for it, so I'm gonna... <laughs> Screw you. I can do what I want with the time of my videos. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab some dimensional shards. I really have to look out <laughs> because um, my refined storage is kind of like filled to the brim right now. Um, where is the infuser? There it is. Um, uh, in here. So, um, yeah, setting up the recycler is probably my next step. Uh, I guess that's... I really haven't prepared anything else. Okay. But hey, at least that gives me some time to reflect on some of the comments that were left by some of you. And stuff. Uh, but... You won't even get to see that until, like, I guess the week when this comes out. <laughs> so, I, g I guess you're still unfortunate, after all. How sad. How very, very sad. But hey, okay. So we're gonna infuse this, and now I'm gonna uh, need brain power to work. Uh, we need servos. Servos. Uh, like, more... Oh, really? Do we not have any iron plates? Come on. Oh, we do. Huh. Oh. Uh, we don't have any red alloy, which is over here, and now it's gonna say it's gonna be filled. No, okay, never mind. Okay, just give me, like... Let's make three servos. Why not? I don't think I'm gonna need three servos, but whatever. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, and we gotta set up the Ignis Extruder, which I would really like to, like, upgrade, but... Meh. Expensive and stuff. I could make it re refined, but I don't want to waste boosting mixture on that. Ah. So cranky. Anyway, um. Oh, yeah, I probably need flux ducts. Uh, these ones. Do I have item ducts? Yes, I do. Okay. Nice! Nice! Are you done? Should probably actually, you know, just so I go have a hopper, because to make th life easier by all myself, I can just like put a hopper right next to it, right here, and just uh, <laughs> how do I keep <laughs> forgetting which machine does which? I mean, they look kind of like similar, most of them, but like, yeesh. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Now it's just a constant stream. Uh, come on. This is reduces power consumption. Yeah, that's what most things just do. But hey. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna use the infused crystals for anything else, so I might as well use them for what, what they are supposed to be used for. Okay. There we go. Okay, put this crafter in. I still need to whitelist the right stuff. Uh, which would be wood essence, uh, just wood essence, actually. Okay, there we go. 
So we're gonna turn wood essence into any wood. Literally doesn't matter. So I'm gonna pick jungle wood. Now I need actual wood essence. I'm just gonna make some wood essence. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There we go. Put that in. And then we get wood. Uh, oops, I need to put this in internally. There we go. Then we're gonna turn this into wood. This also internally. Um, and actually, I, I like to keep keep one of these items always. Even though it's not, sometimes it's not necessarily to keep the items. It's just, just in case, you know. Uh, keep and all internally and there we go now the only thing we need is a uh, better goddamn logistics okay put this here put this there and this is the output and just regular old cobblestone okay uh, it's not active now. We still need lava and water to go in there. Hold on. I can quickly get that. Ahem. Uh, one and the two. And quickly over here. One and the two. And there we go. Now cobblestones are being made. And, uh, whoops. Wrong output. There we go. Now it's in here, and uh, now we just need to make stone axes. Um, I don't think that matters, but keep. Okay, never mind. It does matter. Ah, uh, okay. So it is MBT sensitive, or it's not MBT. It's uh, or is it? Uh, I forgot what it's called. Um. But hey, so now I'm gonna draw these out, these stone axes, into the loot recycler. And you can see one axe, if it. There you go. There we go. We get a bunch of loot bags now from these axes. Yeah, there we go. There's still like a stored loot value. So, like, an axe is about like 500 to 600, it seems. So like three stone axes, or three to four, is one common loot bag. Okay, that's a really good ratio if you ask me. I mean, considering this is literally rent-free, pretty much. Um, Alright, and then we can pump out these into here, where they are going to be stored. And now we just basically need to wait until... We reach 5,000, and then we get an artifact loot bag, which obviously it's kind of slow. But um, I have faith in my computer that he, it will not <laughs> that that it won't uh, fry in the summer. But fan, you, I'm putting my trust in you, okay? Uh, that it won't explode overnight because again, it is. I don't know. How much degree Celsius it is right now, but it's actually it's actually not that bad because right now we kind of it looks like we're gonna have another thunderstorm. My area has been kind of getting flooded as of lately, occasionally. Ah, uh, blocking some roads and stuff, but eh, it's all right. Imagine having flooding issues in it's fucking Central Europe. Um. Okay, so what else do I do now? Uh, 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 I don't actually know. Um, well, for one, I want to get. Obviously, I want to get the. Oh, what, 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 I tapped out of the game on accident. Uh, hopefully that didn't mess up the recording. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Anyway, uh, we need a lot of these reactor casings if I want to make a reactor because obviously I want to have a reactor because reactors are cool. That's they are, I, I don't need the power right now, but reactors are cool, okay? And I want them, and I have a layout for it. 
But uh, obviously I need graphite ingots. Have we ever made graphite? I think we did. But not this kind, right? Uh, we're obviously gonna make... Pro pro Actually, you know what? We should probably make a dimlet workbench. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Well, actually, there are, well, there are three things that I need to do still. Uh, one of them is a machine. It's a dimension. Here, dimlet workbench. Yeah, this is oddly cheap. Uh, but do we have? Wait, okay, we have an empty dimlet base. Uh, we have that. That's cool. Uh, I need red silicon and a silver gear. Uh, we should have silicon. Yeah, we do. And some redstone. Into here. There we go. Just throw everything that I don't need in here. <laughs> Just goodbye. Come on. And two. Alright, and uh, now we just work up the steps. Do this. Uh, do that. And now, do this. Uh, what the hell? Oh, redstone. Of course. Of course. It's always redstone. Uh, there you go. Dimlet workbench! I don't know if you need power, but I'll see. Yeah, you need power. Okay. Uh, then, first of all, into the infuser you go! There we go. Uh, infused bonus. Increased chance of getting all parts out of the constructed demons. Ooh, nice. So yeah, we probably want to have that. That sounds neat. Uh, give me the other dimension shorts I just went in there. Give them to me. Just like that, because with that we can make some more uh, specialized dimlets, because obviously we can go look around for them. I know that the Kepler ones are obviously pretty good, which I do have one. I do have a Kepler dimlet somewhere in there, uh, which grants you a lot of blocks and resources. It's just not the ones I need right about now. I need some other bad boy stuff. Oh well, actually, it is what I need, it's just more convenient if I got the resource directly instead of just a part of the resource, you know what I mean. I mean, it's just graphite. If, if it's that bad, I can just make the seeds. Like, it's just, like, it's gonna be tier 3, right? Craft. Actually, there's hop graphite, and there's graphite. What's the big difference? Like, like seriously, what's the, what's the deal here? I guess because, yeah. Oh, whatever. It's, it's the graphite anyway, right? These ones. Wait, you can burn graphite blocks. That's news to me. I didn't know that. <laughs> Weird, you can't uncraft them normally? I'm learning a bunch of stuff, but yeah, it's just a regular graphite. Anyway, you're infused now. Uh, break the ground. Put thing here. Give me this. Yeah, okay. Okay, so basically, now we have this really, really big list of things. And if we just look up, for example, I want uh, graphite, right? Then there is no graphite. Okay, then we do have to make the seeds. Um, but, for example, diamond. There we go. We can just make the uh, block of diamond um, material now. The only thing we need is, uh, obviously, the dimmer piece and this dimension cube right now, which I think uh, is... I forgot the name of it. There we go. As long as we have the... Right, uh, absorb dimlet. We could basically turn. Okay, yeah, the absorber. That was right. Okay, so basically, you have these absorbers, right? I was gonna get into them once we have the absorbers, but basically, uh, if I find, for example, I do have an uh, a dimension with um, uh, molten uh, dragon or dragon steel. There we go. And I would want that, the dimlet from that, right? 
and basically make it like a better dimension. Um, which it really is already, it's like an ocean of dragon steel, so there's nothing really that I can make better out of it. But if, for example, only a chunk of it would be blood or dragon steel or whatever I would want, I can just absorb it and turn it into whatever. Alright, uh, obviously I need stuff for this, and oh, I need a lot, a lot more. But just to have this shown off, because I'm gonna use it uh, when the time comes. Just, just so you know, uh, when I suddenly have all these overpowered dimlets and you're wondering, hey, where the hell did you get those from? Well, I made them myself. Alright, uh, so we need graphite seed. Okay, that that's fine by me. I, I should make that seed, probably. I could even like do that off screen, probably, but what the hell is graphite? We probably made graphite at some point. But, ah, it's literally just coal and gravel. Okay. Sure. Sure thing. It's not like we have 300 or f almost 400 pieces of coal blocks that we can utilize in this case. But barely even a stack of gravel, apparently. Well... So I guess this is my job now. Um, oh damn! I'm pretty sure I wrote down how much stuff I need at some point. Oh no! Where the hell did that paper go? Okay, back into the game. So since I clearly... Now, since I have my actual number of casings that I need, what I could technically do now is just make an extreme pattern, which I don't think I can actually make yet, because it takes uh, Enterium and Supremium. Uh, which I'm not sure, actually, if I'll make seeds for those. I mean, I'll probably make seeds for them at some point, but not right now. Um, but yeah, looking at this, I already have a whole bunch of steel. So that should be no problem at all to come by. Look at this stuff. And while I was talking, showing off the website, uh, yeah, uh, our stuff here is done, so give me this. Give me that. Put this in. Okay. Man, I really need to get like a proper essence field going because right now only like a certain proportion of them are tier 5, but eh, cloning takes forever. Well, actually, not anymore. Because in the last one we. Oh, not last episode, it was like <laughs> a couple minutes ago. Um, we obviously worked on. Uh, getting this to a resonant. And uh, by the way, this is, there are a lot of seeds done. I'll just yoink some and place plant them over again. But basically, for I guess this is actually a good point to end the episode because right now I'm gonna have to collect so many resources if I want to make a reactor now. And the other option that I could could go for now is I guess uh, get started on the master assembler. Which, even though I don't have, like, a working, or well, a permanent syngas solution for it, I could already set it up, because I'm probably gonna need it once I start to get into more complicated machines that require the higher CPUs. But that's good, because now, once I have all of this set up, and you can see, even though it's kind of filling up already, um, naturally... You'll see um, that it will be worth it in the end once I get the things that I want from the artifact loot bag. Really, I guess, yeah, the wood speed is still kind of slow, but hey, we have still like four fields not even properly set up yet, so we'll see how that goes. And I would probably like to move the beans at some point as well. Oh man, so much stuff to do. And oh yeah, and builder. Builder as well. I completely forgot about builder. Man, okay. Whew, we have a lot of stuff on our bucket list. That's gonna be exhausting. So at this point, this is the end of the last episode, technically. But then I realized that it would be too long to have it in one episode. So, like, here's the rest of the next one as well. Have fun. 
Hello everybody, welcome back to Dungeons Drinks and Space Shuttle. It's been a while and uh, look at that. I got uh, a lot of molten blood infused iron. Uh, where did I get that? Well, the answer is dimensions, of course. I have two new dimensions to show. Um, one is the blood infused iron dimension, which I managed to make. There's just a pool of blood infused iron over there, which is incredibly helpful, which means that I don't need to uh, waste iron or blood on that anymore. And uh, another dimension that I was recommended to make was um, the Kepler 22 uh, biomes, which uh, this is dimension 50 for me right now. And the reason why is because, well, certain planets just casually have like insane spawns on there. And one of those is a forest made out of gold. Now important uh, for that part is, I think this is, it's either six or 10, I forgot which one in specific, but this one is Kepler-22B Gold Plains. You need, the, by the way, a dirt crown for this to work, so, and this is a regular uh, dirt crown as far as I know, so the chiseled crown won't work, thankfully. You can fight those stimulants relatively easily. But yeah, this is just wonderful. Just a bunch of gold ore and gold blocks, even. Beautiful. The mobs are annoying a bit, but whatever. It's free gold, I'll take it. Uh, let's do slash home. And that's uh, the dimension situation right now. If I were to go look over my loot bags, they probably haven't done all that much, honestly, because I haven't actually been playing that much. I've just been like, doing these two dimensions. So if I look in here, we just have uh, 20 bags. Yeah, they haven't been do- Oh, oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I wonder why, Tyler. Because apparently I forgot to put one on keep. Yeah, uh, probably should have done that, huh? <laughs> wow, okay, that explains a lot. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Well. Okay, uh, now that I've done that, you probably have been screaming in my comment sections, Ah, you forgot to put that on keep! <laughs> uh, well. What am I going to do this episode? Did I plan anything to do this episode? Um, not really. Because, well, we kind of, st I still want to make my reactor, alright? That's the kind of, like, one of those things I want to focus on, but at the same time, that's a lot of crafting, and I spent, like, the last episode just completely bonkers with the uh, crafting. Oh, well, not the last episode, probably the second last episode. I'm not sure how this is going to fit in time-wise, because my episodes have been rather wacky um, in, ter in the terms of length. So, um, as I was going to say there are two options in front of us and one of them is probably making the reactor and the other one is uh, getting the master assembler which would both be very helpful to have uh, in many ways um okay uh, hold on where is my table I figured out that you can just put all of these in here so I just moved all of the uh, dimlet controllers in here all right and now to the thinking part. Um, so I wrote it down in the last episode that I need uh, a total of 171 or 72 uh, operations. So that's 1,374. And I was going to make that with the extreme pattern encoder because there's no way I'm going to craft that by hand. So, I guess my next step would be to get Enderium Seeds going. Uh, guess I can do that really quick. I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna roll recording back up. Alright, actually it's been a fucking day. <laughs> uh, well, okay, hear me out. So, I was gonna do the reactor, and obviously I was gonna set up the auto-crafting for that, but then I realized the problem, and that is I don't have my Void Miner on Tier 3 yet, because I forgot to uh, switch out my regular lens that I use with a crystal lens. 
um, which increases the drop rate of all these erodium cry cryo uh, cryonite crystals that I need right now. Um, well, didn't have enough of those, so I can't really upgrade them yet. Um, but that resulted in me um, missing the lithium, actually, um, for the basic blade patterns. So instead, I constructed this thing over here. Now, uh, don't worry about that. This isn't really a big deal at all. It's just um, it's going to be automated uh, super glue for my carpenter setup that I'm going to be using for auto crafting. Now, um, let's run this down really quick so I can... Um, Actually, hold on, I need to go check on something because it's probably done by now. Um, uh, 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 where, um, first of all, I need my fluid ducts. There we go. And I also need uh, the seeds. Yeah, that's right, I was duplicating seeds in here. That should be enough, I believe. There we go. Uh, so I can... Uh, get back to, I guess, just duplicating another seat. Uh, I guess start duplicating clay seats. I'll, I'll need those eventually, so I'll just do them now. Um, Alright, uh, let's get these rubber seats up here, which are produce rubber essence. I don't need that big of a field, I just need some in there. Alright. So, the harvester harvests the rubber, alright, it already has one in here, I need to uh, later down the road sort it out, so there's no fertilizer essence in there, and this gets put into the induction smelter. Now, over here, uh, I have an igneous extruder that is currently disabled, um, but if I were to get uh, water and lava really quick from down here and over here then we can activate it and this will start producing cobblestone we have this machine downstairs as well uh, essentially just an automated cobblestone generator running on RF um, if you played like earlier Minecraft versions then you'd know that the R uh, igneous extruder actually didn't use to run on RF now it does um, but anyway, so it inserts the cobblestone into this thing called a manufactory, and the manufactory actually does a lot of things. Um, if I go and look up, actually I have it right here, um, right here, you can see it acts as a polarizer mostly, but I believe, yeah, it can also, um, if I go a bit further, it can also act as a sawmill, and I believe something else, but that's mostly it but it can also crush cobblestone down into sand immediately like usually if you put cobblestone into a pulverizer you would first get uh gravel uh and as a secondary output sand sometimes so i don't need to do any of that filtering out i believe the cr uh, crusher from actually edition also turns cobblestone into sand actually i think faster than the manufactory but i needed to make the manufactory anyway for a quest so i decided hey i'll just put the manufactory down now uh, then I need to put my servo down so this outputs into this tier 1 crafter and this redstone furnace. This is uh, so we can make sandy glass which then gets pulled over into the pulverizer once there is actually sandy glass. Right now uh, this right now is just filling up all the sand and once the, all the sand is filled up then uh, we'll have glass so don't worry about it. Um, so it gets polarized into a sandy uh, glass dust and if you're wondering how I'm um, inserting them automatically I'm using the auto input enabler uh, which automatically tracks things out of uh, the these things right here of the outputs from the crafter. Uh, then there we go, then this stuff, the outputs right here, get pulled into the induction smelter. I also need to filter out the resulting silicon elements right here. I need to make like two trash cans for that, I guess. Um, and then there we have super glue. That's actually as easy as this. So let me do the f uh, finishing touches on here. I also added uh, more crafters 
for auto crafting and the reason why is because I uh, wanted to auto craft uh, carpenters next. Now the problem with the carpenters auto crafting is that I need crafters which I need carpenters so that's kind of like a dead loop in there. But thankfully it isn't actually that expensive anymore for me to do these. Uh, the only annoying part is sometimes I have to do microchips like right now so I can um, continue on with uh, the craft the carpenter loop that I'm going through right now. Uh, do I have any more? Wait, what, what was it? Was it? Uh, it was red alloy. I still have red alloy. I made like a bunch of red alloy at some point. Oh, actually, I don't have that much. Huh. Okay, I guess. Okay, uh, what is missing? Oh yeah, the transistors, huh? I probably don't have any transistors left. All right. Uh, I only have one. Oh, god damn it. Always with the transistors. Always with the transistor. I really need to clean this up on my sidebar here really quick. Just give me a sec. Oof. Alright. Uh... If you're asking our current loot bag situation, we have like 600 loot bags by now and yeah, I also made the Enderium seed and the um, basalt seed, uh, not basalt, uh, graphite seed already um, for our reactor, which is not really an interesting process, let me tell you, it's just crafting, you don't really need to see that, we've done it like a million times with the seeds. Uh, okay, uh, what's missing? Uh, oh, gold, 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 of course, gold. Thankfully, we have a lot of gold, thanks to our um, gold dimension. There we go. Put that in there. And... Come on. Any second now. It's done, okay. All right, uh, next up I need some servos actually, like uh, two. Uh, I don't have any of these. Should probably start auto crafting these as well, um, but I actually, actually, hold on, uh, I can make something really quick, and that is the uh, wait. Oh, oh yeah, actually, I do have another igneous extruder already on hand, I believe, right? Uh, it's probably up. Oh, yep, it's already there. Yes, I hooked up an igneous, uh, not igneous extruder, an induction smelter up to the uh, crafters as well. So now I can use the furnace and the induction smelter at the mond which will come in handy soon when I whenever I need to make red silicon or something like that. There is a truck going outside my window right now that is amazing. Love it. I can't record in peace. So what I think I'm gonna start off right now is I'm gonna make all the basic components for uh, circuitry now. So um, one carpenter is gonna be for um, just regular transistors and then we can have um, the circuitry. So uh, let's make a crafter really quick. I think I need red silicon as well. Yep, okay. Then you know what? Uh, hold on, I can put this in here. So what is one red silicon? I believe it's five redstone and one silicon, I believe. Hold on. Let me see. It is five redstone, one silicon. Okay. Actually, why am I picking this out? I can just do this, hold on. Um, red silicon. Uh, this and this. Okay, there we go. Just put this in. And then I can hook it up here. And there we go, we just automated red silicon. Nice. That's as easy as is. So now if I go take a look at the grafter. Uh, we only need wood. Okay, I don't have something that converts wood into wooden planks yet, so... <laughs> cool, I guess. I need to hook up a sample eventually. Okay, um... Yeah, now that I can just simply make the crafter like this. I don't even need to do anything. I'll just have the crafter be made uh, by automation. You can see all the stuff happening in here. And that is going to make our life so much easier once we have every single process automated. It's gonna be amazing. I've been recording for 10 minutes already. Jesus Christ, this feels like nothing at all. Um, all right. Uh, next up, I should probably, I don't know. There's so much stuff that needs to be automated. Uh, one of those things, actually, I should probably already make, and that is, um, since I'm using a lot of um, these patterns, right? Uh, I will need 
uh, something in the induction smelter, which is quartz, these, or well, yeah, there is the um, special infused uh, iron. And specifically, uh, this recipe doesn't seem to have a, um, uh, what's the machine called? The, the, the big box over there, you know what, which one I'm talking about. Uh, also, I don't want the secondary crafting result because it can mess up if it's just a percentual output. Anyway, put that in there. Then we also have uh, special infused iron in there, which I think is actually a seed, right? Is special infused iron a seed? No, so it is quartz is a seed, but not special infused. I thought special... Oh, yeah, yes it does. Okay. Um, then maybe I should actually do this eventually. Um, get on that. Uh, because I'm using a lot of special infused, so that is why. And there we go. Uh, another thing, I guess I can also just put in the rest of the silicon as well. So, um, this and this. Basically everything that re is required just by the induction smelter itself. Uh, what else is there that I need a lot of occasionally? Yeah, I don't I uh, just whenever I'll run into it. I'll just add it But there we go. We automate all the different silicons at least so now that won't be a bother anymore And the craft is probably done already. Yeah, there we go uh, Now I can add even more uh, Patterns into the mix there we go. Um, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna make the uh, microchip. Uh, not microchip. Uh, where is it? The circuitry is a pattern. So there we go. Uh, just the basic circuit, and I want to automate. Um, this recipe would be really cool to automate because it's uh, it's a lot, and since I don't really well, actually. Yeah, this is probably optimal because now I have a lot of oh wait, don't don't do this. Okay, I always made the mistake That I usually do Always go into fluids and disable the super glue whenever you need to do this. There we go And now I get a lot more For my buck. There we go. I just have to make sure to put in the right recipe over here. So that would be um, Hold on this one there we go but now uh since we're okay let's just hook this up uh to the right machine please there we go all right and like this i'm actually using the the class ones just so you can like see what's going through these so there we go the super glue is now filling up these things Wonderful. And the reason why I'm doing this uh, passively is because um, you would need the super glue to be stored in the um, refined storage for you to be able to activate the crafting recipe, which is why I always do this passively. Um, now, this should be running just fine. Obviously, there's nothing coming through just yet because we're still just collecting all the sand, which I honestly could probably just get out of the um, ME. But I also need to make trash cans, these ones. I love me some trash cans. They're wonderful blocks and they should be respected. And I need a filter, uh, which we may have. Filter? Uh, we have a reinforced filter, I'll take it. And um, there we go. And there we go. So the trash can goes here, the filter goes there. Um, rubber essence, I could blacklist this, I guess. It doesn't really matter if I have blacklist um, rubber essence or whitelist um, the fertilizer. I just realized I'm an idiot. I need to um, craft these also. So uh, just quick change of plans. Um, so this is going in here. Oh, this is going to look ugly actually um, because I'm going to have to... Okay. Uh, change of plans. I'm going to Put this the other way around because I forgot that I need to uh, also uncraft these things. So put this right here. Um, obviously, get rid of this. 
Uh, this is input on this side. Then back side is purple. And output is here. And the guy, I guess I could just make the secondary output on top, which is yellow. There we go. Um, so right now, yellow obviously goes on top. Oh, well, trash can goes on top. And then I can do the following. I can use this right here uh, and whitelist sand and rubber. So nothing else will come in here. And then I actually need a, a second filter, I guess, uh, just in case uh, it all puts to the, uh, towards the trash can. Um, so I'll just make a quick filter, which is a bit more convoluted now as an option, but hey, whatever. It works, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, actually, I do need fertilizer. Hold on, so I can actually input it. There we go. Uh, there we go. Upwards. And filter this out. Uh, I need the servo to be there. Hold on. Wonderful. There we go. Whitelist the fertilizer. And I guess the fertilizer won't go into the redstone furnace anyway, because it's the fertilizer. You can't really melt fertilizer. The good thing about these uh, redstone furnaces is that in case something like... Um, if you are inputting something through these item ducts that can't be melted, it will never go into the redstone furnace, which is really handy sometimes. Okay, there we go. And now this works just fine. I'm gonna put in this sand right here. Watch me go. Uh, obviously, I need to now... Um, actually, yeah. So the... Wait, is, you, can you polarize rubber? Is that a thing? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, was a bit worried there. Um, now, uh, yeah, I need to add uh, rubber then as a crafting recipe really quick so this goes right here and this would make this all uh, keep external so now when there's enough rubber in here it will be crafted and now I need to uh, think this out more thoroughly actually I could probably make it so that Actually, that's a bit problematic because it can fill up eventually that way. Uh, you know what? Let's not do it this way. I thought I was being clever here, but uh, this could eventually overflow, so I don't really like it that much, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, let's not do this. This is not that smart. Instead, let's make a second crafter really quick. Um, the second crafter, like, right here turn it around again yeah okay that that works better the reason why i'm doing this now is because if i were to because this can may overflow like the output may just have too much sand and when there's too much sand it won't output any rubber so that might get uh get stuck there so just before i get that uh i will just uh do this instead um hold on right input uh there you go, it's just... Uh, how do I do this? Uh, okay, this might, this may look a bit odd now, but... I'll just have to make another crafter really quick. Uh, that is no problem, I'll just take out this extreme pattern that I made. And make a... Um, not those crafters, this crafter right here. There we go. Um, put it in and also sometimes these extreme patterns can turn invisible so they're kind of like annoying to find sometimes but they're there uh, though I had cases where I accidentally just sort of like made them disappear magically I turned all my bronze into bronze gears I forgot about that uh, or not bronze gears uh, bronze plates uh, whoopsie daisy I guess uh, crafter, yes, 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 no, I need more, Uh that sucks, um, now I wish I do started du duplicating the bronze seeds, oh well, oh well, 
Um, okay, then let me just quickly make some bronze. I guess that's not too harsh. There we go. Put this in here into our... Hey, now I can look up the name of this thing. This is the Advanced Alloy Smelting Factory. Our trustworthy machine. As you can see, I've also been like uh, di uh, dimension hunting a bit more. Uh, just getting a bunch of different useful plates. Like I believe I found, look, Palladium ore, which is kind of neat. But look at that price. It's 800. Oh, actually, it's not that pricey. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Okay, uh, make another gear, please. Thank you. Uh, and get the crafter. There we go. Put that in. Then watch it. Watch the magic happen. I always forget which thing is which from the backside. Just making a bit of class right now, or something like that. Yep, there it is. And two. And there's another crafter. Nice. Uh, not gonna bother infusing this one though. Uh, okay. And now I'll just do this, I guess. Uh, in order to serve a, uh, preserve a servo, I'll just do this. Alright. Um, hook this up right there. Uh, nope, that's a fluid duct, not an item duct. There you go. Item duct. Servo. And... Whitelist. Rubber. And that should always prioritize it. And just in case, just in very, very case... I'll put a fertilizer filter right there. Okay. So that's done. Um, the rubber essence will come in here and then, there we go. Auto input enabled. Also need to auto enable input there, even though, actually, never mind. It, it automatically pulls out there, so it doesn't need any auto input. Um, and there we go. I just need to add these, this crafting recipe right here. There we go. And now we have rubber automated. Nice. Okay. 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 So I guess I was done a bit quicker than I thought I would be. Uh, so let's just add sand. Sand. So to get this jump started a bit. So it starts actually producing, I guess. Whoosh. Look at them. I resand. That is finished. We'll go over there. Uh, then it will melt into glass. Wonderful. And then the next one will go in here again. And then the next one will over there. And there we go. And the reason why I'm doing this in the Doctor Smelter and not just crafting it is mainly, uh, well, you can see. I could technically now remove this and make this look a bit prettier, but hey, you get more out of the induction smelter, and I have the stuff to make it for induction smelter, and oh, there we go. You just saw the super glue go through there. And that's gonna basically happen now until it's all filled up. Man, we have so much parallel processing now, it's amazing. Utterly amazing. Not the most beautiful construct con or e most efficient construction by all means, but hey, it works. I'm not gonna turn down something that works. Okay. So now we could probably just auto craft our first circuit, right? Just actually we still have circuits, okay. Um now, uh carpenters. We need to automate carpenters. Obviously. And oh boy, we probably need a lot more stuff. And I, we also need to automate water cells. Uh, and for that we need, I guess, an aqueous extruder, another one, so let's just, uh, aqueous, uh, accumulator, yes, one of these. Put that in here. And I'm switching these patterns, I'm not making new extreme patterns, because the extreme patterns are actually kind of, uh, expensive, because they take, uh, supremium. And I kind of need all my essence right now for the other stuff. Okay, uh, bucket, uh, you should probably start, like, a rolling machine somewhere, an automated one, just for buckets. Uh, uh, you know what, let's, don't I have buckets in here? No? No buckets at all? Well, that sucks. Guess I'll have to make some buckets. Uh, did we ever make buckets with the rolling machine? 
Well, we can do it now. Just a bunch of iron. There we go. Eh. Tin. There we go. Uh, where is the rolling machine? There it is. Come on. There we go. I also made a bunch of steel rods uh, for later build. Building shenanigans over at the reactor, which is probably going to happen in a stream. Which, by the way, I'm sorry if I haven't been streaming as much lately. It's just uh, we kind of have a new router, but apparently the router doesn't really like existing. So it's kind of being a piece of shit right now. My internet keeps on getting really unstable during my usual stream times, which is very unfortunate. But hey, at least you have uh, Bunko streams where I am also part of, and you should probably go watch it if you're interested in probably the most degenerate conversations of all time. But, you know. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait, uh, I didn't place this one right. So uh, just put it right there. All right, and now it's done. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, uh, okay, exactly. That's what we're supposed to do. One of these, and I guess we can also make the patterns for this. So, uh, this would be a servo. I'll put that back to crafting. Servo, put that in. Uh, then what else was it? Uh, these tubes, so let's quickly automate the tubes. I can just, I'm gonna just do, uh, oops, I ran out of patterns, I guess. Well, yes, I won't be doing that then. Uh, I'll just craft the fluid tubes myself. There we go. Um, put this in here. There we go. And now we can almost fully auto-craft that as well. Oh yeah, red alloy. Uh, I kind of, I should probably, I, I do have a dimension that is just full of iron blocks, but harvesting that would be kind of annoying and would take time. I would need to, like, a, a mining quarry, like the builder, to more effectively get the most out of my stuff. But uh, I guess there's nothing really I can do about that for now. Okay, let's just turn these into blocks. For now. I feel like the platinum solution would also be easier because uh, otherwise I would need to automate, I guess, um, actually the the, 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 the the process of making mana steel, which I guess uh, there, there are mana steel seeds, so that's not too much of a problem, but eh, it's more seeds making and it's, it's kind of annoying. So I'm hoping that I can automate also just making the seeds, you know, which would be really, really good. Uh, I'll probably eventually just need to start actually having a proper essence field because mine isn't even like fully tier five yet. Mainly because I keep running out of fighter grow. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? Get in here. So that's kind of just the problem with the seeds situation and uh, I should really get going on fixing that. Like, it's been way too long. But as you can see, I, I just have so much things to do. Like, damn, this mod pack, you, you, you will never, ever run out of things to do. Anyway, uh, Aquarius is done. There we go. And now we need a uh, fluid transposer. There we go. Put that in. Uh. Oh no. Did I do the thing? Ah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And you know what? For this one in particular, usually my my uh, state statement is if I lose something during a glitch, like oh come on, like just get over it just do whatever but like in cases like these where it's just it's just vanishes for no fucking reason i'll just i'll allow myself this you know you know how much how much that happens to me well uh, i need an extreme pattern there we go just screw you 
You think you can void one out of just thin air? Well, guess what? So can I. Uh huh. I hate when that happens. It's so annoying. Anyway, fluid transposer. Uh oh yeah, stone tanks. I guess we need those. Uh, you're gonna have this one. Um, and I need more tubes. Okay, sure. And there we go. Fluid transposer. There we go. Start. And should be done any second now. Any second. Uh, let me get the water in the meantime. So I need one, two... There we go. Get the fluid transposer out. There it is. And let's set up something up here. Um, I'm just gonna do this with regular old... Actually, no. Give me the... Give me the, give me the good stuff. The granite. There it is. Alright. So, put this... Right... Here. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be like a tank like this, so... Doesn't trip down underneath. There we go. Wonderful. And now we need this. This. And fill this up with water. And now we need actually another crafter, now that I think about it. So can we completely just make the crafter out of thin air? Not if, we, if I don't have the pattern for it. Um... It's not even a ghosting item when that happens. It just straight up disappears into, like, Narnia. And I don't think that's intended to happen. <laughs> anyway, oh, yep, we can just straight up, easy peasy, make the crafter out of thin air now, pretty much. So, all I have to do is just wait. And what should be completely finished. I can even go up there and you can just see it happen in real time like there that's the silicon that's the uh patterns and then they go back into the me it's so beautiful honestly to see that happen uh but i also need cables i believe i okay yeah i almost ran ran completely out of cables um so let's make some how about it uh, okay uh where are the cables i don't ah uh, there they are just right here. Do I have regular red alloy? I do. Of course I do. I always do. Except for when I don't. Okay. Set this up. And we're basically just doing this so we can fill up cells with water automatically. Yeah. Really. <laughs> um processing so hold on water cell can i get this yeah water cell this just this okay and go into the fluids delete this uh i need patterns i ran out of patterns whoops yep give me those just give me all of them honestly we're gonna need so many of these it's not even going to be funny. Okay, get the cables. And now the crafter should be finished. There it is. See, having being able to focus on more than one thing at a time is amazing. Now with all the uh, terminals up, uh, set up. There we go. Put this here. Connect the crafter with a cable. Uh, wonderful. And right there. Okay. So put this here. And now I just... Wait, hold on. This and this. Okay. So now if I... Oh, actually, never mind. I, I'm thinking ME terms. I, of course, it needs uh, a different... Uh, uh, needs to be routed back into the... 
RF or RS by uh, the interface. Because in the ME, the interface is also the crafter, pretty much. And that makes it a bit more handy, handier and compact most of the time. So you just can have multiple, multiple, m multiple um, interfaces, basically, that will make your life much easier. Electrotine, Electrotine. Do I have any Electrotine remaining? Yes, I do. Give me that. There we go. We're also going to be automating um, all of these item ducts eventually. Basically, I just need the logistic parts, the machinery parts, and most importantly, the carpenters, because the carpenters are obviously one of the most used machines ever, trademark, in this. Okay, there we go. This has an output, so nothing will go in it. And now, whenever I want to make a uh, carpenter, we can craft these water cells automatically. Amazing. Now, uh, what I don't have right now is a compactor hooked up. So technically, I need one more crafter right now. So, uh, which needs ugh, special infused. Uh... So wait, th didn't I, didn't I hook up special infused already? Oh yeah, I did, but I didn't. I don't have the plating. That's, that's what. Uh, so just put this in here, please. I forgot how much I need. Is it? Is it eight? It's eight. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Then just make a bunch of special infused. Actually, I should do it down here. Uh, if I have any quartz left, which I apparently don't. Um, in which case, actually I do have one more empowered anyway. There it is. In which case, wow, we look how much quartz we have in here. Isn't this wonderful? I can just place all of it down and then just, yeah, look at this. Woo. Yeah, there's still so much things to do. And one of those things is gonna be a pain in the ass called... Uh, <laughs> or logistics. Blah. I'm not looking forward for the, to that part at all. But hey, what can you do? Actually, I just realized uh, we barely have any iron left anymore. That's kind of a huge problem. Uh, I really should get that iron ore dimension going, huh? Or, you know, just, like, let the miner actually do its thing for a while. Oh, man. Okay. So, this is gonna happen really quick. I just need, uh, three more, I think. Three more. Plate this. There we go. And craft time. Crafter time. Woo! Man, we are making these at such a pace now. That's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, but we're probably gonna run out of advanced control circuits soon. Um, so I need a compactor. One of these. One of the first machines we ever made. Isn't that funny? Uh, is the crafter done? Nope. Well, guess I'll just wait there. Yep, there he is. Okay. It's done, and now get this out. Make it a compactor. There we go. Throw it in here. Make compactor. Uh, I don't, I don't have these automated, so let's do the, just that really quick. Add these into our protocol. So like that. Get the or dictionary on there so we can use whatever stick we want. And get the piston up there with the or dictionary so we can do whatever we want over there as well. And get this going on so we can make wooden crates with the or dictionary. Blah, 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 you know the deal. And obviously, we need wood 
by itself as well. So I'll just I'll just do this, I guess. Uh, yeah. So this will hopefully work. I always know that wood is a bit finicky to work with sometimes because the ore dictionary messes up occasionally. But now if I look at the compactor, this should work. Okay, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And just like that, you can just trivialize so much things. Okay. Uh, and let's hook this up to the plating. Actually, I still need to... Actually, no. No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. Uh, hook this up. We're obviously gonna need more than just one compactor, because you, you see how much plating we always need? Yeah, that's not gonna be sufficient. Um, there we go. But we can put this in here, so now we make energy plates. Uh, this is correct, but this needs power still, so I guess I'll just, uh, do this. Whoa. Um, that's that already, damn. Um, so let me just add a bunch of plating as well, so obviously I need, um, special infused ore a bunch, so let's, uh, oh, well, hold on, processing. So let's add that into the mix. There we go. Uh, I need um, iron plates a lot, so uh, at these I need uh, a lot of lead plates coming up. So I'll just add them as well. Um, what's another funny one? Uh, Invar is a commonly used one, uh, at least for the machines that I need. Um, uh, the carpenter itself, I think, is made out of steel, but... Yeah, I, I still have so many steel plates, so it's not gonna matter. Uh, yeah, I'll just add these four right now, or five right now into the mix. So now if I make a carpenter... Wonderful. So this is mostly done. Um, I guess I still need a factorizer, I guess, to make these blocks. So... I guess I should get on that, and I also need uh, an automated atomic reconstructor at some point as well, which is actually quite easy to make, so... Mm. But look at that, it's we're making so much progress now. Uh, I also want to make spider eye seeds, but... Eh, hard. Okay. Um, I guess the only thing that, oh, look at that. Oh my God, we already filled up all of the carpenters and our pipes. Yeah, actually this is working very well, very efficient. I like it. And I actually have a bunch of sandy glass that I could fill up. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful. All right, so I guess in the meantime, what I can do is just now um, wait a bit more. Um, for things to be done, I still have dimension hopping to do, and my goal is basically to automate carpenters, right? So I can automate the storage um, processes. So I can just click on one thing and I don't have to just keep on watching, keep on refilling the carpenters, just doing that sort of stuff. Basically just get all of that done in in one click so I know which resources to get, which to refill, and just so I can make these bigger storage patterns, so I can just throw in everything I have into the crafting grid. Because once I can do that, basically, it's over. That's, that's pretty much it. I can just uh, start by uh, getting all these ore into the crafting grid now, and then I will never, ever, well, worry about space ever again, pretty much. Just all of this in here, basically. Oh, man. But that's still a bit further away. Okay, but I'll just make a quick recording break, and I'll turn it back on whenever something interesting happens. <laughs> 